Alrighty, so I had an amazing day at the ACE event at Canada's Wonderland today. It was a lot better than even I was expecting, which is truly amazing because I was expecting a lot. Um, so I have a lot of information to go over, so I'm going to go over that really quickly for you guys in this video as it is a ton of information to process. A lot has been leaked today, so this, in, this video is packed with a lot of somewhat leaked information. All right, but I'm going to start with the construction tour. So uh, first, we got a tour of Backlot Stunt Coaster. Um, so we learned that uh, if a launch fails on Backlot Stunt Coaster, it goes back into magnetic brakes that will then stop it, and then they'll relaunch it. I'm sure all of you already knew that. Nothing new there. Um, but we got some really awesome shots from behind the scenes of Backlot Stunt Coaster. You're going to see the magnetic launch area. Um, you're going to see the sorry, the LSM launch area, then you're going to see the uh, actual trains in there. And then we're going to go into the tunnel um, and you're going to see some really awesome shots inside the tunnel as well. So while we do that and while you go through that tour, before we get over to Sledgehammer, I'll go over some of the information we learned today. So we now know that Wonderland does have a 300 to 400 attraction limit. So Wonderland can only house about 300 to 400 attractions in its land. Um, they also have a height restriction of 400 feet. This is an approximate height restriction. It was not uh, solid information, but the approximate height restriction is 400 feet at Wonderland. Mountain restoration is going to continue. It was mentioned that a deck would be put on the roof of the mountain, but we're not entirely sure what that may entail. Restorations of older attractions may be in the works, and when doing so, it helps control the raising costs of running these older attractions. Modernize is a word they used for upgrading an attraction down the road. Very interesting. RMC comes to mind. And with learning the other day during our construction tour that Frontier Canada is nowhere near done, RMC Mindbuster jumps right to the front of the line for me. Um, Action Theater has no plans at this time uh, for any upgrades or, you know, modernization or changing into anything else. Um, so sad news there for anyone that was expecting Action Theater down the road to become something. Um, something is in the works for Wonderland's 40th anniversary, but no details yet. Vortex will get a new name, and they even invited suggestions. So feel free to at Wonderland. <laughs> Just don't get too annoying. Um, name. So the process of naming a coaster, developing a coaster, and theming is Wonderland will first choose a name, then they will start to design the logo, then they will start to design the theming of the area, and then begin to choose what the buildings will look like and the kinds of plantation that will be in the area. Interesting information. Um, so a scenic railway was planned for Wonderland way back in the day, um, and then Valley Fair bought the trains that Wonderland had purchased. There's still a possibility a scenic railway may come back to Canada's Wonderland at some point, um, and the head of construction would like one at the park, but they're not sure if people would buy a season pass if they added a railway. A railway doesn't necessarily convince people to buy a season pass, whereas those big steel coasters really do. Um, Wonderland does control the depth of the pond, and when Sledgehammer, since we're on Sledgehammer's backstage tour right now, when Sledgehammer springs a leak, it leaks in barrels versus a small leak, um, which shows just how much oil this ride runs on. Um, Backlot had its effects turned off due to removing the Italian job theme, also, also partially due to the cost of having a pyrotechnic on site at all times, and then obviously replacing and fixing those um, effects at all times. Um, that's all the tidbit information I think I got uh, from this event today. Again, and it was an absolutely amazing event. So as you're seeing right now, we are under Sledgehammer um, in their basement looking at what makes Sledgehammer run. I had no idea this much went into Sledgehammer, um, but it's truly amazing. So I strongly suggest for any of you that love these kinds of events or haven't been to an event like this, like me, um, definitely go look at American Coaster Enthusiasts and possibly register and get yourself a membership because this is truly an amazing group um, that do amazing events. I was totally blown away by today's event and the fact that a bunch of enthusiasts get together uh, to get these behind the stage tours, have early ride time, free food, um, and get to ask the park questions for almost an hour straight 
is truly amazing. So definitely go check that out. And uh, I mean, next year UConn Strikers open. So who knows uh, what kind of event Ace may plan for Roller Coasters A next year. I'm excited. Um, other than that, we got a tour of Backlot Stunt Coaster. We got a tour of Sledgehammer's Basement. And this is its cylinder that we're about to look up right now. So this is the center of Sledgehammer. Um, so that was really cool. Um, I also, at this event, won a bolt or nut for Behemoth. Uh, Behemoth is my favorite ride at the park, so that was truly awesome. A lot of people won some pretty cool parts. Some people won um, these plates off of Yukon Striker. Definitely slightly jealous there. Um, so that was awesome, too. And uh, almost everyone, actually, it was everyone on the Amusement Insiders team won something. So that was sick. Um, truly blessed. <laughs> But yeah, not much else going on or any information. I'm trying to like think if I missed anything. We did a really awesome scavenger hunt that was really fun. So we had to find these signs that they cropped in like um, the, around the park. And we're not talking your basic signage. We're talking about like signage like this or like things laying around the park. That was really hard. We we're supposed to find 72. My team found 35 out of 72. And we spent about four hours doing this. So that was fun and it was difficult so kudos to the jordan for designing that that was absolutely amazing and i can't wait till next year for that um to do it again um but yeah so that's it for all we've learned <laughs> at this event uh there's no new uh developments on the construction site other than a few new materials did arrive in the um the vertical loop area it looks like kind of like framing for a dig out so that shows that they're going to start digging out like that little vertical loop ditch um so that was cool that arrived today and they, they brought in some support beams for the a-frame so the next piece of track can go in next week at some point so that was cool they'll probably start setting them up next week um maybe tuesday that a-frame will be up and then wednesday thursday maybe the track piece will go in who knows um the track piece is ready to go um but yeah, again, that's it for the construction update and not much else going on with Yukon Striker. It seems like they're taking some time um, to just slow things down. We do know that they are ahead of schedule slash on time, so they have the ability to kind of, you know, relax and get things done. So this is Sledgehammer's control panel for anyone that is curious or ever wanted to see it. That was really cool to be able to see that today. Um, and this is the current look at Yukon Striker's construction site. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this really cool behind the scenes shots of Backlot Stunt Coaster, Sledgehammer, and uh, the construction site. And hopefully you guys really enjoyed that information that we learned at ACE today. Again, definitely go check out ACE, American Coaster Enthusiasts, and register for a membership. It's truly amazing. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.